one on one. I'm talking at all you need. I'm talking at all you want. I'm talking about you and me. So come and get all this love. Yeah. Come and get all this love. Come and get. What's up, y'all? Your girl Self Me is back with another video. So, as you can tell by the thumbnail, it's like story time, but it's like, um, how can I say? Like, somebody asked me, like, well, they didn't ask me, they came to me, and we were talking about this conversation about, um, like, if a guy or a man have mental health illness or issue, <clears throat> I was talking about it. So, I said, you know what, I should make a YouTube about it, because the conversation that me and her had was so, like, interesting like i helped her and talked to her about it and stuff like that and she was like you know i'm not going to go all in detail because like what me and her was talking about that's between me and her so because it was like personal so that's why i said i'm not gonna go all in detail but i will tell a story time like i knew a person two person personally that you know knew somebody or like one of my homeboys he did have mental like issues mental issues and like so i'm gonna just tell i'm gonna tell two stories in one in this video so i'm gonna like separate it okay so the first one is my homegirl like, I'm not going to say no names. I'm going to call her Jessie or whatever. Or, like, Alicia. No, Alicia. So, her name is Alicia. But her real name is not Alicia. But I'm not, you know, giving their real name out. So, Alicia, she was like, hey, self-made. And I was like, hey. Like, I always check up on all my loved ones. I'm like, hey, y'all. Hey, everybody. Hey, such such, whatever their name is. How are you doing? How you feeling? So, that's what I did. So, when I did that, she was like, I'm doing good, but I'm not doing good. And I was like, what's wrong? So, she was talking to me. She was like, her boyfriend. Like, I didn't know her boyfriend at all. Like, I be, like, when my friends in the relationship and everything, I be in my own lane, my own. I don't be in their business. So, like, when she was telling me. And I was like, what's wrong? What's wrong with your boyfriend? She was like, he got health, mental health issues. And I was like, what kind of mental health issues? She was like, he got um, anxiety. He got, um, I can never say this word right, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. PTSD. And then he have, um, What's the other one? Because my brother got it too. Like, he's like, he was hyper. Like, when he can't focus, like, I think it's ADD. Um, I'm trying to think, y'all. Because, like, I know these health issues because my brother have it. But it's like... I know the the one I'm trying to say. I think it's ADHD. Like they're hyper and they can't function. They like, when you tell them to do something, like for example, my brother, like he be so hyper, he have so much energy. When you tell him to do something, he lose focus and stuff like that. I think that's what I'm trying to say. But she say he have that too, and I was like, wow, he have a like I never knew her boyfriend had that. Because, like, I don't be in nobody's business. And plus, that's not my man. That's her man. So, she was like, that he have anxiety. He have that P word that I told y'all. And I was like, oh, wow. Like, I never heard about the, um, I know it's what anxiety is. It's like different types of anxiety. And, like, I didn't never heard about the P word. Until she told me, and then a couple of my friends, they ha <clears throat> they have it too. So, and I was like, okay, what else is going on and stuff? So, she was like, um, telling me. 
And I said, wow. I was like, she was like, he lost one of his friends or whatever, but he been dealing with a lot of stuff before that. And I was like, oh, okay. And then like, I asked her like respectfully, like, can I talk to him while you sitting there? Like, she was like, yeah. I said, is he there if I can talk to him or whatever? So she let me talk to him and I, t and I'm mean, just say his name is Jay, but that's not his name. So I say, what's up, Jay? I said, what's up, bro, Jay? He like, what's up, sis? And I was like, I heard that you, I heard you're not mentally right. I mean, not mentally right, mentally okay. Like you got something going on or whatever. And I said, Ashley told me, whatever I said her name, I know I might mess up or whatever, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. But Ashley, she was telling me that you, you've been down, you've been, like distance you've been in a room you know not being yourself so like now as i'm telling talking to him this is now as i'm talking to him and he telling me why what's going on with him she didn't even know so this is me and her first time knowing about this and i'm like because after he told me that and i talked to him she he gave the phone back to her she was already she was crying because i could hear her crying in the background i was like ashley you okay she's like i never knew that like i know i asked i made a video like why do fellas hold stuff in and not talk about it like i know us females we very emotional we speak how we feel and everything and then like for y'all guys it's not weak for y'all to speak how you feel what's going on in your head and stuff like that just speak talk about it like trust somebody that you really trust like i tell all my friends and that's like like i said in the last video whatever video i made that's why all my friends talk to me about anything because i'm not judgmental i treat them the same way we all human. We all hurt and we all going through stuff. Nobody's perfect on this earth. We all did some stuff that we shouldn't did or regret or whatever. So they all come to me because like I be telling them the truth, you know, being blunt with them, being honest with them, you know, lifting them up at the same time. So, yeah. So he was telling me everything was going on with him or why he been like you know the way he was and he was telling me about his childhood and like his mom his mom was not in his life he don't know who his mom was his dad was in prison so while he was growing up before he met Ashley he was treating women wrong he didn't have nobody guiding him and teaching him how to be a real man. So I told him, I said, I said, I understand that you haven't had your mom or your dad in your life. But I said, you don't need to follow their footsteps. Don't do what they did. Don't do whatever happened to your mom. Because, like, he still today, he don't know who his mom is. I guess she gave him up or something or... But he knew who his dad was because I guess he lived with his dad or whatever. And his dad was doing some stuff. I don't know. I didn't go in details about that. But he was just telling me, you know, he didn't have both of his parents in his life. And his dad was in jail. That's all I know. And I told him, I said, Jay, I said, bro, I said, you're here for a reason. I said, and that reason is not going down the same footsteps as your parents. Like, my mama always told me, my mama had me at 16, and she always told us, I don't want y'all to struggle how I struggle. She said, I want y'all to do better than I did. And we did. Because my mom, I could, I could feel his pain because I never had a dad in my life. Like, my dad was never in my life. Like, I always had my mama... And my mom's mom, my nana, that's the only two women I had in my life. Like, I never had a dad in my life. Like, my mom's boyfriends was, like, dads, but I never called them dad. 
Like, well, this one that she's with now, I call him dad, but I don't call him step dad because he don't believe in the word step. Because his, like, his family don't believe in that step word. Like, I agree with them because he treat us as his kids and he have kids himself, but his kids is like, my mama, all my mama kids are grown. I'm the oldest. So, and his kids, they're like teenagers or, and he got a little one or whatever, but his kids not grown yet. But my, all my mama kids are grown. So, yeah. So, um, like, I, I could understand how Jay felt like he didn't have both of his parents. But I had my mama, though. But my dad, every every girl need a father in their life. Because, like, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't celebrate Father's Day because, like, I never had a father. Like, I always tell my friends their dad happy Father's Day because I never had one. And, like, I told my best friend... One, I think I told my best friend and my twin. I was on the phone. It was Father's Day or whatever, and I think they asked me. They like, they like, self made. What did you get for your dad? Did you buy your dad anything or whatever, whatever? I told them, huh? What are you talking about? I said, man, fuck him. I ain't buying him shit. And they like, damn. Why you gotta be like that? I said, because he never been in my life. So, why do I need to buy him something? Like, we live in the same state, in the same, like, when I say same state, he live on the other side of town. Do you see this phone right here? Do you think he texts and call me? No. So, I stopped doing that. Like, I kept texting him, calling him. Like, I went, like, I know who my dad is. I went to talk to him, like, try to build a relationship. He don't want to build a relationship. I'm 29 years old. I'm 30. I'm a girl woman. It's too late now. Like, where was you at when I was a little girl? Where was you at when I was a teenager? Come on now. So, I don't celebrate Father's Day. But, I always tell them their father happy father's day because they're they had both of their parents in their life me i only had my mama my mama was a single mother like that was hard for my mama like being the oldest and seeing my mama what she went through that really hurts and it's like no woman should go through that like no woman should go through that like i don't understand some guys these days like just because your dad left you, you shouldn't do that to another woman or the woman that you get pregnant or, you know, disrespectful a woman or whatever. Like, if you have issues with yourself, you need to go fix that and get yourself together or whatever. So, enough of that about me. But, like I told Jay, I was like, bro, I said, don't be like your parents. I said, be better than them. I said, you're here for a reason. Do better than them. I said, you're in school. You got a good car. You got a good job. You're going to, like, he was going to school. I forgot what he was going to school for. He was going to school, I think, a, be a CNA or NA, CNA or a therapist. I don't know. One of them. He was going to school, like, being in the medical field. And I said, look at you. I said, don't sit here and be sad and, and depressed and stuff. Like, you got a lot going for yourself and stuff like that. And then he was like, he was like self-made. He was like, he said, I'm, he said, I'm blessed with what I got. He said, I'm happy with what I got. I got a good job. Like you said, I got a good woman. I said, yeah, you got a good woman beside you and everything and all that. I said, I understand we sit sometimes we sit here and think about our past and then we get in our feelings. It's okay to do that, but don't let it get too deep. Too deep. Like just like be thankful. Like thank you. Like I always say thank you to God for everything. My struggle, my pain and all that. Because without him, you wouldn't be where you at today. For real, y'all. You wouldn't be where you at today. 
And like God put you through that for a reason because like he give his tough toughest soldiers to see if you can handle it. But he take you through that, but at the same time, he's right there with you. Even though you don't see him, you don't feel him, he's right there. And, like, I was telling him that, like, me and him was having a deep conversation. Like, deep conversation. So, I was like, bro, you, you're blessed. Like, you're blessed. And, I, and then he was like, my dad called me. He be calling me from jail. Like, I don't know what his dad did, but... His dad be calling him, calling him for money. And he was like, I get mad when he called me for money. That's the only thing he want. He don't sit there and talk, like, ask me how my day going. And I was like, you're, you're a man now. He's used to you being a teenager or, or a little boy. He don't know you. He haven't been in your life since I don't know when. He when he went to jail or if he was a teenager or a little boy or whatever, he hasn't been in your life. So he don't know you personally. So you I said, maybe you need to tell him how you feel. Like tell him how you feel. You a man now. Speak up. Tell him how you feel. Me, I tell people how I feel. Like if I have an issue with you or I feel something that I don't like or whatever, I go to that person and tell them about themselves or tell them like, yo, you hurt my feelings. Why you say that? Da, da, da. But I would say it in a nice way. Because I know me. I'm blunt. And people can't take my bluntness. Because they be thinking like, oh, she real serious. Like, I don't know how people take it. But they take it the wrong way. But me, personally, I don't mean to come off that way. But that's just me. Because my mom always kept it real, kept it raw. So that's how I am. I don't was basically raised like that. So yeah, I had to learn a tough way. So yeah, so like I told him, I said, bro, just keep going. Like, if you don't wanna send him money, you don't have to send him money. He like, I ain't seeing that nigga shit. I was like, okay. Like he, did, he wasn't going off on me, but he was just like, all that anger was built up inside because of his dad. And then he wanted to, he was trying to find his mom, like, a boy needs his mom and needs his dad to to teach him how to be a man, you know, and how to love a woman. But thankful that my friend Ashley, when they first got together, they've been together for for a while, probably like I'm gonna say six years, seven years, eight years. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't be in any business, but I know they've been together for a long time. So it's like. Her being by his side, and he was like, he like self made. He said, you know, I really love Ashley. Like, I really love this girl. She been there since day one. And I said, that's good. That's good. I said, to be honest, I said, Ashley is a good girlfriend to you. Because only, I said, I don't know if you know what she been through in her past. Because I've been there with her. Like, the guys that she used to date, they used to mistreat her and stuff like that. And that's why, like, with me, when I, I talk to a guy or I like a guy or whatever, I take my time. I don't rush into things. Like, baby, you might be a criminal. You might be a silly killer or something. No. Pump your brakes, bro. Pump your brakes, okay? No. And, like, me, when I go on a date... Like I said in my video about what type of girlfriend I am. Baby, you I'm not giving the cookies up to you like that, baby. Who are you? No. Do you got HIV? Do you got STDs? No. Where your mouth been? No. You might been out here slinging it to everybody else. No. No. No, no, no. So me, I'm very cautious and careful who, you know, and, like, I'm very spiritual. Like, I could peep signs. Like, I could see the red flags and stuff. But, honey, I would cut a nigga off in a heartbeat, y'all. I would cut a nigga off in a heartbeat. If I see anything I don't like, deuces, you ain't got to worry about me. You ain't got to call me. You ain't got to text me. I'm blocking you, sweetheart. You ain't got to worry about me. Because, like, I'm a woman, a real woman, a queen, I should be treated that way. 
every woman on this earth is not no hoe or want to sleep with every other guy, every other guy, Tommy, Dick, and Harry, Jerry, whatever. Like, for y'all men, like us women, we would be like, y'all niggas ain't shit. Not all of them, just some of them, you know? So, that goes the same way for us females. Not all females are hoes. Not all guys are, you know, whores or whatever you want to call them. So, yeah. So, and then after I, talk, I told Jay that... He was like, thank you so much. He said, you really helped me. He was like, you really helped me and stuff. It was more to it, but I ain't going to go all in detail about that. But I just want to get to the, you know, basics or whatever. So I told him, I said, you're welcome. I said, like I said before about guys don't open up. I said, bro, you need to open up. Don't hold that stuff in. Because the more you hold that stuff in, the more anger and or whatever and another thing i told him i said don't listen to your mind your mind will play games on you tell you this tell you that like overthink basically don't overthink and like i like for example my twin chelsea she overthinks like she overthinks like very overthinks and I'm like, Twin, what are you overthinking about? She was like, I don't know. She like, I said, stop overthinking. I began on to her. I told her, stop overthinking. What are you fucking overthinking about? And it be the smallest things. And I be like, girl, stop overthinking. And like, she can't help it because, you know, she been through a lot in life. And I can, I can understand that. But others that don't know her, they don't understand her. So... And I said, twin, stop overthinking. You already have enough of health issues. She's like, yeah, you're right, twin. She's like, I'm going to stop overthinking. I said, just pray about it and let it go. Okay? Sitting here stressing about something you can't handle, you're going to make yourself even more have more health issues. Girl, just calm down, relax. Take a deep breath and just relax. Like, that's what I do. When I'm, like, when I feel like I'm overthinking, I was like, God, I don't know what it is that's bothering me, got me overthinking. I said, but I'm going to leave it in your hands because I don't want to stress about it. And, like, sometimes low-key I be feeling stressed because I can feel the stress in my shoulders. Like, when my shoulders is really hurting, like, sore, and I be like, okay, Clarissa, you're stressing. I don't know what I'm stressing about. So I'm going to just be calm. And I said, Lord, I don't know what I'm stressing about. I said, but where it is, please take it out of my hands. It's in your hands. Just take it out of my hands. So, yeah. So by the girl that I was talking to about mental health issues, would I date a guy like that? Yeah, I would. Because, like, he's human. Like, he can't help that what he went through or the health issues that he got. He can't help that. God made him like that. You know, but even if he wasn't born with it, like, for example, like, my friend, her boyfriend never had anxiety, the other stuff that I said. He never had that until, until you know, when he was a, a kid in his childhood he he got it when he was probably like 13 in his teenagers that's when he found out or whatever but it's like when people go through stuff when it was a child that's traumatizing like you never know what people go through like you got people parents they are on, on drugs they abuse them etc cetera, etc cetera. like you don't know so, yes, I would date somebody like that because just because I don't have the only health issues, ugh, the only health issues I have is eczema and allergies. I don't have anxiety or nothing like that. And I thank God I don't have that. But other people, you know, everybody is not like me. I'm strong minded and I'm strong P. 
period. Like, y'all just don't know. If I would tell y'all a story time about my life, y'all be like, wow, Clarissa. Like, when you look at somebody, you don't know what they go through. Like, by, like people, like, my supporters, no, I'm not gonna say my supporters, my gang, my self-made gang, like, this one girl, she DM me, she like, Clarissa, I wanna be like you. And I said, no, be like yourself, don't be like me. And I be telling people, don't put me on the pedestal. I'm human just like y'all. I'm not famous. I'm human just like everybody else. I'm a YouTuber. I'm an influencer. I sit here and tell y'all, talk to y'all. But don't put me on the pedestal. I'm not famous. I'm not. I'm human just like everybody else that watched this video. Or like all these YouTubers. Not, not saying all of them. But these YouTubers, these famous people, they be hurting too. Like behind closed doors. Like me. I talk to God. I talk to God all the time. Like, I talk to God. Like, he's my best friend. Like, he's sitting right here in front of me. Like, we, like how I'm talking to y'all, that's how I talk to God about anything. And I pray for my loved ones all the time. So, don't ever say, close self-made, I want to be like you. I mean, I know I'm a role model, but you're, you need to be your own person, you know? You can't be me because you can't, if you was in my shoes, baby, you'd be like, oh, no, I, I don't want it no more. Just be yourself. I mean, I could be your mo role model, but don't try to be like me, okay? Only I could be me. You could be you. He could be him. So all of us have our own personalities, you know, everything and all that. Just be yourself, y'all, okay? So... Yes, I would date a guy that have mental health issues, like I said before. Because I'm going to be there for him. Like, I'm going to stand by him through all, like, through all of it. Like, I'm not the type of person, like, to give up somebody. Give up on somebody. My bad, y'all. I'm always going to be there for somebody. I'm not going to sit there and, like, oh, I can't take this no more. It's time for me to move on. I'm going to be there. Like, if you need to go talk to somebody, we can, I can google and get you some help like i'm gonna be there like i can't help that his past affected him older so yeah i would be there for if uh, my man have even if he don't have that health issues and he have such so much stuff built in i would still be there for him talk to him and everything you know be a girlfriend like a real girlfriend like a woman like i'm not gonna sit there and argue with him and stuff like that that's trigger triggering like you sitting there arguing and stuff it's not gonna get no better like what the fuck is you arguing about like you're making it more worse like that's why i don't understand some females they be sitting here bashing their boyfriends on social media they be, the guys be bashing their girlfriends on social media, baby. I'm not doing all that. I'm a bigger person. We're going to sit here and talk about it. Like, why is you mad? Why is you, what, what, what's the attitude for? That's the type of girlfriend I am. Like, hello, what's your issue? Whoa, why you, you woke up on the wrong side of the bed? Did you need to go back to sleep and wake up again? I'm not about to sit here and argue with you. I'm going to give you your space, and I'm going to have my space. Whenever you feel better and all that, then you can talk to me. Holler back at me. But sitting here disrespecting me and fussing with me, no. That's not going to work. So, yeah. So, I hope this video helps you, girly. Even though we talked in a DM, but... I just wanted to talk, I wanted to make a video about it because a lot of men out here really have mental, they don't really talk about what they go through. And for the ones that do, I am proud of you and I'm so proud of you. Do not stop talking about how you feel and stuff and telling your testimony. Keep going and stay positive. Keep God first. And, you know, don't let this world, this this enemy stop you for what you're doing. 
Don't let these negative people get in your head. Hate comments, DMs. Don't let, like for me, I have a lot of people in my DMs. They be talking mad. They be like, oh, you look ugly. Little. Baby, I know I don't look ugly. I look beautiful in anything. I look beautiful. I look at myself in the mirror. Yes, girl, you bad as what? I don't care what nobody say about me. I give two fucks what y'all say about me. So, I don't care. Y'all not hurting me. You hurting yourself. Because, baby, I'm still going to do me and be me at the end of the day. I told that. I told everybody that. My best friend could tell you that. My twin could tell you that. My other twin, London, could tell you that. I don't give a fuck what people think about me. Because do you pay my bills? Do you put money in my pocket? No. So, baby, why am I going to stress about what you said? Baby, you need to go focus on yourself and stop being so miserable on other people's lives. So, yeah. But anybody that y'all know that have mental health issue, be there for them. Don't ignore them. If they screaming for help, help them, okay, y'all? Help them. Like, it's too many people, you know, doing that to themselves. And then they don't have nobody to be there for them, uplift them. Like, if you need somebody to talk to, you can DM me. If you don't trust nobody else, you can DM me. Like, I'm not going to tell your business. What's said between me and you is said between me and you. Like... You can ask my best friend. You can ask everybody that's around me. Whatever is said between us, it stays between us. Because whatever you told me is going to go with me to the grave. So, y'all need to be there for your loved ones. Be there for them. Times is getting hard, as y'all can see. Don't sit here and ignore the signs. Like, if you see it, Talk to them. Tell them they need to go get help. Don't sit here and ignore the signs that y'all see. Don't do that, y'all. Don't do that. So, as this video, I'm about to end it. So, I hope this helped anybody. You know, my fellas, ladies, you know, y'all all beautiful in your skin. We all got scars and everything. But... Just remember that self may love you and self may always tell y'all to keep going. Don't let nobody stop you for what you're doing. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do this. You can do that because you are somebody. You're going to be somebody. So don't let nobody tell you what you can and what you can't do. Only God can tell you that. Only God can judge you. Nobody on this earth can tell you oh you can't do that you can't do this not even your own family don't 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 you know what you want to do in life what you want to be in life go for it go for it don't listen to nobody else just keep god talk to god about your problems or like go to therapy or counseling that's the only thing but like me, I keep God first. I tell God all my problems. I talk to him like he's like physically here, but he's not. But he can hear me and spiritually. So like don't let nobody tell you nothing. Like, like I tell y'all, yes, you are going to be somebody. And you are somebody. Because like me, I am somebody and I am some going to be somebody. So, as that being said, I love y'all, I love y'all, I love y'all, and I pray that everybody that watches this video, I spread positive loves, positive vibes, energy. If you're going through anything, talk about it, don't hold it in, talk about it, okay? So, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell on, and make sure y'all share it out, or whatever, so yeah. Bye. So many people never find the one. That's why I really want to tell you some. I really think this is it for me. I really think you're the one I need.